Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa has addressed the nation as the kingdom celebrates its national days in commemoration of the establishment of the modern Bahraini state as an Arab and Muslim country founded by Ahmed Al Fatih in 1783. The anniversary of its full membership in the United Nations and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. Bismillah ar Rahman ar Rahim. الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته في هذه الذكرى الوطنية الباعثة على الفخر يطيب لنا أن نتحدث إليكم وكما نحرص عليه في مثل هذه المناسبات العزيزة على النفس لنجدد معكم عزمنا المشترك على إثراء درب التحديث والتطور بالبناء على إنجازات مؤسسي دولتنا العريقة التي قامت على ثوابت عقيدتنا وقيمنا وتقاليدنا بنهجها المعتدل والمتسامح والمتحضر وسنستمر بإذن الله تعالى بالبقاء أمنا على سيرتهم الجليلة ومسيرتهم المباركة التي انطلقت قبل أكثر من مئتين عام ونحن نبني وطن المستقبل لأجيال البحرين الصاعدة وتحل علينا مناسبة العيد الوطني المجيد هذا العام والتي يعود فضل تأسيسها ورعايتها منذ فجر نهضة الدولة البحرينية المعاصرة لوالدنا ووالد الجميع صاحب العظمة الشيخ عيسى بن سلمان آل خليفة طيب الله ثراه ونحن نحتسب أجر مصابنا الجلل بوفاة فقيد البحرين العم العزيز صاحب السمو الملك الأمير خليفة بن سلمان آل خليفة رحمه الله الذي كان نعم العون والسند لنا ولوالدنا من قبلنا ولأهل البحرين الكرام وستبقى رحلة عطائه الحافلة بالإنجاز الممتد الذكرى المشرقة والتذكار المشرف بدروسها المتجددة لمعاني البث المخلص والعمل الجاد التي تجسدها فصول بناء هذا الوطن والذي يزهو بإنجازاته ويرتقي في مقامه بعز ووفاء مواطنيه وتواصل مملكة البحرين من منطلق هذا الأرث المتأصل والإرادة الوطنية الحرة على العمل بصبر وثبات لتجديد النهضة التاريخية والبناء على ريادتها مستعينين في ذلك بالمولى عز وجل وعطاء أبنائنا وبناتنا الكرام بمعية الابن العزيز وقرة العين صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير سلمان بن حمد آل خليف ولي العهد الأمين ورئيس مجلس الوزراء الذي يتقدم الصفوف في حمل لواء المسؤولية والأمانة الوطنية مقدرين ومعتزين برؤيته الموفقة وقيادته الملهمة وجهوده المتميزة وداعين الله أن يوفقه في أداء ما كلفناه به من مهام فهو كما العهد به محل الثقة لتحقيق ما نصب إليه 
لخير الوطن ونماء وتقديرا منا لهذه الجهود الطيبة والمشكورة فقد أمرنا باستحداث وسام الأمير سلمان بن حمد للاستحقاق الطبي ويمنح هذا الوسام للأطباء والممرضين والطواقم الطبية وكذلك الذين استشهدوا أثناء تأدية واجباتهم الطبية بالإضافة للأشخاص الذين كانت لهم إسهامات وخدمات جلية في الدعم المادي والمعنوي للكوادر الطبية وفي إطار هذه الجهود المباركة نجدد الشكر والتقدير للجهود المتواصلة لكافة الفرق العاملة على الصفوف الأمامية في مواجهة الجائحة وهم من نشهد لهم بالمثابرة والشجاعة والصبر على الصعاب من أجل الغد الأجمل الذي سيحمل بإذن الله بشائر الشفاء والتعافي ونود بهذا الصدد أن نعلن بأن البحرين ستبدأ قريبا بتنفيذ حملتها الوطنية لتوفير التطعيم الآمن والمرخص للوقاية من الفيروس المستجد ولقد وجهنا بأن يتاح بالمجان لكل مواطن ومقيم على أن يكون اختياريا لمن يرغب أن يستفيد من هذا التحصين وكلنا أمل بأننا مقبلون غريبا على عودة الحياة إلى طبيعتها بل وأفضل من سابق عهدها بإذن الله تعالى ولا يسعنا في هذا المقام الوطني الرفيع بمناسباته التي تتجدد معانيها في كل عام إلا أن نقف احتراما أمام تضحيات شهداءنا الأبرار منذ فجر التأسيس وحتى يومنا الحاضر والذين ستبغى ذكراهم العطرة وبطولاتهم الخالدة سجلا ناصعا بالعبر وقصص الفخر والشجاعة بدفاعهم عن مصالح بلادنا لتبقى شامخة عزيزة ولتواصل في حمل رسالتها في الدفاع عن قيم الإنسانية ولتكون كما يعرفها العالم أجمع واحة أمن وسلام واستقرار لأهلها وجميع قاطنيها داعين الله عز وجل أن يرحم شهداء البحرين ويسكنهم فسيح جنانة وأن يوفق قواتنا الدفاعية والأمنية لأداء واجباتهم الوطنية الذين نتوجه لهم بالشكر والتقدير على إخلاصهم وتضحياتهم لحفظ أمن وسيادة واستقرار مملكتنا القالية وختاما ونحن نتطلع نحو المستقبل الزاهر نتوجه للقائمين على المؤسسات الدستورية القائمة والهيئات العامة وبالأخص الشبابية منها ولجميع المواطنين بكثير من التقدير على مؤازرتهم المخلصة في كافة الظروف والأوقات والتي نعتبرها من أقوى الحوافز وأكبر الهبات لبلوغ آمالنا وتطلعاتنا لاستقرار ورخاء بحريننا الغالية وكلنا فخر واعتزاز بهذا الخلق الكريم والعطاء النبيل والالتفاف المقدر لمواطنينا الكرام عشتم سندا وذخرا والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته 
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa took the initiative to take the coronavirus vaccination today. His Majesty noted that God has endowed the kingdom with a conscious society keen to adhere to the precautionary measures and instructions issued by the national medical team to combat the coronavirus, which had a great impact on Bahrain's ability to limit its spread in society. His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation to all the national caterers working in the front lines and the volunteers who offered the most amazing examples of selflessness and sacrifice during this pandemic. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa in which His Royal Highness extended thanks and appreciation for His Majesty's institution of the Prince Salman bin Hamad Medal for Medical Merit. His Royal Highness said that represents another incentive to carry out His Majesty's directives and to affirm Bahrain's distinguished position in all fields. His Royal Highness affirmed that His Majesty's leadership and vision have enabled a host of achievements during the pandemic which presents an extension of the process of national work and in which the medical caters have proven their dedication to serve the country's citizens and residents. He also affirmed that His Majesty's aspirations represent an inspiration for the country to proceed with further achievements in the spirit of unity and loyalty. He expressed his full confidence in Team Bahrain in further developing the country and safeguarding its prosperity and prayed for His Majesty's ongoing health and happiness. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received cables of congratulations from leaders of Arab and Islamic countries on Bahrain's national days in commemoration of the establishment of the modern Bahraini state as an Arab and Muslim country founded by Ahmed Al Fatah in 1783. The anniversary of its full membership in the United Nations and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. They extended their deepest congratulations to His Majesty the King on the national occasion, wishing him good health and happiness and the Kingdom of Bahrain and its people for the their progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today visited the International Exhibition and Convention Center, Bahrain's main COVID-19 testing and vaccine center. During the visit, His Royal Highness expressed his appreciation for His Majesty the King's order to create the Prince Salman bin Hamad Medal for Medical Merit. The medal will be awarded to doctors, nurses, medical staff and frontline workers in recognition of their dedication and sacrifices made in service to the Kingdom. His Royal Highness underscored that the distribution of vaccines as part of the national vaccination campaign represents a new stage of Bahrain's response to the global pandemic coming as the kingdom celebrates its national day. He noted that the pandemic has challenged healthcare capacities across the globe to which Bahrain has managed to rise and surpass these extraordinary demands. On this note, His Royal Highness took time to highlight the devotion to the well-being of citizens and residents shown by frontline workers, thanking them for all they have endured. He affirmed that Bahrain's drive to mitigate COVID-19 is further strengthened by the solidarity and unity dem or demonstrated by citizens and residents who have taken a united decisive action to curb the spread of the virus. His Royal Highness emphasized that Bahrainis are defined by their capabilities and adaptability which contributes to overcoming all challenges, particularly during these unprecedented times. He concluded by reaffirming Bahrain's commitment to mobilize all resources necessary for frontline workers to continue to safeguard public health. His Royal Highness then met members of the National Medical Task Force for combating the coronavirus and thanked them for their perseverance and selfless sacrifice. The President of the Supreme Council of Health Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa and the Minister of Interior General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa were in attendance.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today received a number of cables of congratulations on the occasion of Bahrain's National Days in commemoration of the establishment of the Bahraini state as an Arab and Muslim country founded by Ahmed Al Fatah in 1783. The anniversary of its full membership in the United Nations and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. The cables were from senior members of the royal family, the Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Shura Council Chairman, Ministers, Senior officials, Shura Council members and members of the Council of Representatives, dignitaries, governors, municipal councillors, Bahrain's ambassadors abroad, heads of the diplomatic missions in Bahrain, heads of societies, sport associations and clubs and citizens in their cables. The officials extended their deepest congratulations to His Royal Highness on this national occasion, wishing him abundant health and happiness and the Kingdom of Bahrain and its people, further progress and prosperity in all fields under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad. His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the occasion of Bahrain's National Days, the anniversary of the establishment of the modern state of Bahrain as an Arab and Muslim country in 1783 by his founder Ahmed Al Fatah and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. His Highness also congratulated His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion. His Highness underscored the monumental national achievements in all fields during the era of His Majesty the King and noted that the reform project of His Majesty serves as the foundation of all projects that contributed to the development of the kingdom. His Highness said that despite the challenges imposed by the coronavirus, the kingdom has nonetheless, thanks to the directives of His Majesty the King, continued its march of developmental achievements by turning challenges into opportunities. He concluded by expressing his pride in the youth and sports achievements thanks to the support and patronage of His Majesty the the king, which contributed to, a, to creating a generation equipped with knowledge and commitment to its religion, homeland and nation. The Supreme Council for Youth and Sports First Deputy Chairman and Bahrain Olympic Committee President His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa marking Bahrain's National Days in commemoration of the establishment of the modern Bahraini state as an Arab and Muslim country founded by Ahmed Al Fatah in 1783. The anniversary of its full membership in the United Nations and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. He also extended his congratulations on this occasion to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa praising his pivotal role in uh, translating His Majesty the King's directives and spearheading development projects in different sectors towards further progress and prosperity. He affirmed that this occasion is a source of pride and a testimony of Bahrain's landmark development strides in the prosperous era of His Majesty the King. He praised the 2030 Bahrain vision which has launched or was launched by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister as a roadmap which would herald a brighter future for the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa paid homage to late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, hailing his role in turning the Kingdom of Bahrain into a beacon and role model in different fields. He prayed to Allah Almighty to bless His Majesty the King with good health and happiness and the Kingdom of Bahrain with continued security and development strides that bolster its role in the continental and international arenas. The first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, arrived in Oman to head Bahrain's delegation participating in the 39th meeting of the General Assembly of the Olympic Council of Asia in the presence of the Council's president, Sheikh Ahmed Al Fahd Al Subah, and the participation of 45 National Olympic Committee representatives at the Asian level and a number of presidents of international and continental sports federations. Upon his arrival, His Highness was received by the President of Oman Olympic Committee, the Secretary General of Bahrain Olympic Committee and Bahrain's Ambassador to Oman. His Highness Sheikh Khalid issued a statement on the occasion where he expressed his pleasure in the depth of brotherly relations and ties between Bahrain and Oman, wishing the Sultanate further progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq. His Highness noted that Bahrain's participation in the meeting is an affirmation of its support to the Asian Olympic sport and the efforts of the 
council headed by Sheikh Ahmed Al Fahd Al Sabah to develop Olympics in Asia, which is an opportunity to enhance relations with national committees to achieve further international achievements. He wished the meeting success to contribute to the development of Asian sports. The Representatives Council issued a statement on the violation of the Qatar regime against Bahraini fishermen through Qatari Coast Guard patrols that violated the rights of Bahraini fishermen and sailors by arresting them and confiscating their belongings while fishing in the territorial waters of the kingdom. The Council emphasized its categorical rejection and condemnation of the arbitrary treatment and behavior of Qatari Coast Guard patrols, which contradicts the values and principles of human rights, customs, traditions, brotherhood, and good neighbors neighborliness between the people of the Gulf and a flagrant violation of the basic order of the Gulf Cooperation Council. The Council expressed its regret at the continuation of such disgraceful behavior and violation of international conventions and human principles, as well as fundamental freedoms, including the right to life, the right to personal security, the right to work, and freedom of movement within the territorial borders of the Kingdom of Bahrain, which are guaranteed by international human rights conventions. The Council affirmed its support of all security and legal measures taken by the Ministry of Interior in the Kingdom with regard to the reckless and dangerous Qatari behavior and the abuses and unacceptable practices that threaten the security and safety of fishermen and endanger their lives. It also called for taking the necessary measures to protect the rights of fishermen and sailors and provide a safe environment for them to exercise their legitimate right to work and fish in the territorial waters of the Kingdom of Bahrain. Following years of violations of Bahraini fishermen rights, the Council recommended not to reconcile with the state of Qatar before negotiating the aforementioned issues to protect the rights of fishermen. The Council also called on all parties to commit to the Riyadh Agreement, which was signed by all countries, including Qatar, to maintain the GCC and the rights of all. The Representatives Council yesterday held its weekly session shared by the Council's first Deputy Speaker, Abdin Nabi Salman. The Council approved a decree by law regarding the disposition of the part of the funds for the Future Generations Reserve Account and referred it to the Shura Council. It also discussed two amendments to the Unemployment Insurance Law and the Real Estate Registration Law. The Council also approved and referred to the government a number of proposals regarding the following. The development of the educational caters, the establishment of a Quran learning center in the 7th constituency of the Northern Government, the establishment of a department in the Central Agency for Information, Big Data and Artificial Intelligence, and the exemption of associations and centers designated for people with special needs from the electricity and water bill. The Minister of Information Ali bin Mohammed Rumehi made a statement in which he praised the royal address marking the kingdom's national days. He commended the noble civilizational values it contained, describing them as a source of pride in the development achievements and the sacrifices of the national competencies. He lauded the ongoing comprehensive development march led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The minister described the royal address as a roadmap to ensure sustainability of the development and modernization process in the kingdom, while holding on to the values and traditions of the forefathers over more than 200 years. He praised the ongoing accomplishments and determination to continue the dedicated work within the framework of the state of law and constitutional institutions. Aramehi commended the noble royal initiative, uh, initiative of creating the Prince Salman bin Hamad Medal for Medical Merit in tribute for the role of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in leading Bahrain Task Force for Combating Coronavirus COVID-19. The royal order to create the medal is also an accord for the sacrifices of all workers in the medical sector to help Bahrain overcome the challenge and bring life back to normal, especially after the humanitarian royal directive to provide an authorized, secure and free vaccine for all citizens and residents. The minister described the royal directives as a beacon in a responsible humanitarian and national work to continue bringing about honorable achievements thanks to the Bahraini people's awareness and unity. He also praised the role of the National Defense and Security Forces and the sacrifices of the martyrs of duty to ensure Bahrain maintains its leading status as an oasis of peace and security and a model in democracy, coexistence and sustainable growth. 
On the 16th and 17th of December, the Kingdom of Bahrain celebrates its national days in commemoration of the establishment of the modern Bahraini state as an Arab and Muslim country founded by Ahmed al-Fatih in 1783. The anniversary of its full membership to the United Nations and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. On this day, Bahrain recalls the efforts and sacrifices of the early founders that led to the establishment of this nation, its advancement and modernity. On this occasion, the people of Bahrain renewed loyalty and allegiance to His Highness King His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and expressed their aspirations for a bright future under his leadership. The Vice President of the UAE, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, congratulated the leadership and the people of Bahrain on the National Day celebrations. In a tweet on his personal account on Twitter, His Highness expressed his wishes for continued relations of brotherhood between the UAE and Bahrain and wished the kingdom progress and prosperity. The Kingdom of Bahrain's embassy in London held a virtual held a virtual National Day celebration which commemorates His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. The celebration was attended by a large number of British members of Parliament, the House of Lords and other officials along with various other friends of the Kingdom and its residing citizens in the UK. The Bahrain Ambassador to the UK, Sheikh Fawaz bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, gave a speech in which he discussed the Kingdom's many achievements since His Majesty's accession to the throne, especially in the political and economic empowerment of women, supporting the youth combating a human trafficking and religious coexistence. He said that these achievements have been realized thanks to the support of His Majesty the King as well as the late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. He deeply thanked all who offered their condolences in this regard. The ambassador praised the deep-rooted Bahraini-British ties and their aspirations to further develop them. He said that Bahrain represents a model to be emulated as witnessed by various international organizations in its handling of the pandemic to keep all citizens and residents safe thanks to the efforts of Team Bahrain led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Sheikh Fawaz affirmed that the opportunities for bilateral cooperation are great especially in the economic, commercial and investment fields following Britain's exit from the European Union. Then the Minister of State for the Middle East and North Africa, James Cleverly, gave a speech in which he reviewed the bilateral ties and thanked Bahrain for its assistance in evacuating British citizens from the Asian continent during the pandemic. He affirmed the strength and depth of the bilateral ties, which he said will result in further peace and stability in the region thanks to Bahrain's efforts. He also congratulated Bahrain for hosting the Formula One race and the Manama Dialogue Conference, which he said affirms the kingdom's organizational capacities and wished it the best of luck as it heads the GCC in the coming period. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I am delighted to welcome you to this online celebration of the Kingdom of Bahrain's National Day 2020. Thank you all for joining us as we reflect on the most unusual of years. I want to start by expressing my appreciation for the many messages of condolences Bahrain has received from our British friends on the sad passing of the late Prime Minister. His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, a visionary leader and a true friend of the United Kingdom. As we mourn his loss, we know that his legacy will always live on in Bahrain's progress and development, and in hearts of all the Kingdom's friends. Ladies and gentlemen, there is no doubt that 2020 has been a challenging year for many reasons, most notably the COVID pandemic, which forces us to hold today's event online. But even in the face of all these challenges, our two countries' shared values shine through. In responding to the pandemic, for example, both our countries have made every effort to save lives and protect the vulnerable. So in Bahrain, our free and high quality testing and healthcare is available to all. Regardless of nationality, we moved quickly to support those affected, including rehousing some expatriate workers in social distancing compliant accommodation. And we have provided an average of 14,000 free meals per day for those most vulnerable. We've also worked closely with the United Kingdom to repatriate British nationals. And I was delighted by the most recent announcement of a travel corridor between our two countries. Internationally, 
the signing of the Abraham Accords and the establishment of diplomatic relations with Israel has opened a new chapter of opportunity for our region and a real prospect of a lasting peace and prosperity in the Middle East. Recognize that old ways have failed to achieve regional peace or resolve the Palestinian issue. Bahrain had the courage to chart a new path based on its long culture of openness, coexistence, and dialogue. We are confident that a genuine warm peace will benefit all the peoples of the region, and already we can see words being put into action with the establishment of direct flights, the availability of online visas, and the opening of embassies in the near future. Here, too, the strong continued support of the United Kingdom has been greatly appreciated and underlines the many interests of principles we share. In the coming year, as the world begins to recover and rebuild from the pandemic, our Bahrain-UK friendship will be more important than ever. With the new opportunities presented by Brexit and with Bahrain assuming the presidency of the GCC, there is enormous potential to expand our bilateral ties and investment, tourism, trade, and so much more. And because international cooperation will be essential in the post-COVID world, I have no doubt that Bahrain and the United Kingdom are well-placed to fully deliver this potential. Ladies and gentlemen, despite all the challenges of last year, I am more confident than ever in the depth and strength of our country's friendship. And when, inshallah, we meet in person in 2021 National Day, I have no doubt we will look back and appreciate just how strongly we have bounced back from this terrible pandemic and just how much we continue to achieve together. Thank you. Tech giant Google has joined Bahrainis and the international community in celebrating the kingdom's national days in commemoration of the establishment of the modern Bahraini state as an Arab and Muslim country by its founder Ahmed Al-Fatih in 1783, the anniversary of its full membership in the United Nations and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. The search engine marked Bahrain's national days with a dedicated animated Google Doodle featuring the kingdom's national flag. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 1,606 with 158 new recoveries and 176 registered new cases. 81 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 79 are contacts of active cases and 16 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible.